What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. Kind of got a controversial video here I want to make for you. And of course that topic that we're going to discuss is snorkels. And the reason that I'm making this video at a recent instructor update course that I went to, there was a room full of about 40 instructors and the question was posed on whether or not it violated training standards if the instructor and or the student chose not to actually wear the snorkel on their mask during training. And the reason the question was brought up was simply because there's different types of snorkels out there. We've got these big bulky dry top snorkels, you know, they do have flex hoses on them, but they're pretty bulky. They do create entanglement hazards and they will create drag if you're not careful underwater. And then we also have these folding type snorkels. Now this particular snorkel here was issued to me by one of the training agencies I teach for and it's designed to be rolled up and stowed away into a pocket and until you actually need it. Now the training agency is actually um, wanting us to use these uh, snorkels, these fold up snorkels during training and show students that you can actually fold it up and put it away when you don't need it, but it's very easy to access, pop out, and snap on your mask when you do need it. So a question was asked during a local instructor update here of whether or not training standards need to be clarified on should the snorkel not only be required to have but be required to actually be worn on the face mask during all training. So what I'm going to do is read several different training standards from some of the larger training agencies out there and then down in the comment section below I want you to discuss whether or not you feel should they be required for training and should they be required to be worn during training. So let's take a really quick look at some of the training standards and then let you just discuss it down below. So the first training standard we're going to look at, this is from one of the larger agencies and I'll post it here for you to read along with me. It clearly states that during all in-water training, each student must be equipped with a properly fitted total dive system. This includes, of course, mask, snorkel, and fins. So it clearly states there that you must be equipped with it, you must have it, but it's kind of vague on whether or not you're actually required to wear it on your mask during the training. So let me know down below, do you think this needs to be clarified from this agency a little bit better on whether or not you should actually be required to wear the snorkel during training? Let's take another look at a different training agency and see what they say about wearing a snorkel. Now this agency here clearly states that all standard diving equipment for students and instructors must be there and it says make sure divers have at a minimum fins, mask, and snorkel. Now it clearly states that you got to have it but once again it does not say it must be worn. So look, what about this training standard? What do you think? Let me know down in the comment section below. Should this be more clarified by the training agency? Let's take a look at two more agencies here. Now these two training agencies here, it's two separate agencies but they do share the same standards. It says minimum student scuba system, the equipment required to be worn by the student to perform the in-water skills listed in these standards. This equipment, equipment includes a minimum mask, snorkel, and fins. Now that's a little bit more definitive. It says it must be worn but it's still not necessarily clarified where it must be worn. So if you have that foldable snorkel that is designed to be worn in your pocket when you don't need it, is that breaking standards by only taking it out and using it when you actually need to use it? Or once again, should it be worn on the mask? They are designed to be worn on the mask, so it's still pretty vague there. Let's take a real quick look once again at that same standard as far as what it says an instructor must do. It says minimum leader scuba system. It says the equipment includes as a minimum fins, mask, and snorkel, and then a bunch of other ones there. But there it doesn't say that it has to be worn. So is this training agency saying that the students must wear it, but the instructor doesn't have to, he just has to have it? Well, that's the problem with these training agencies. It's very vague on standards. Now, does that mean it leaves it up to interpretation by the instructor or by the student? Who really knows? Now, like I said, this video come from, or we wanted to make this video based off of a recent instructor update that we attended where the question was posed to the training director of that agency whether or not the snorkel has to actually be worn. Now, the answer we got was very, very vague in this. It clearly stated, and what he clearly stated was, you gotta have it, 
but he never actually said it violated standards if we chose not to wear it. So guys, what do you think? Down in the comment section below, let me know. I want to make this a hot topic here. I know a lot of divers choose not to wear a snorkel during dives. You know, during training, their instructor may require, or the shop may require, or agency may require. But, you know, a lot of divers choose not to wear it afterwards. They buy them foldable snorkels. They put them in a pocket. They only pull them out when they need it. And then, then again, there's the divers that say, oh, no, you got to have it. It's always great to have it there, ready to use on the mask. You know, it depends on what training you're doing. If you're in that overhead environment, I personally don't see a reason for a snorkel in an overhead environment. But then again, if you're doing open water, I could clearly see why one would be you know, necessary to have, but whether or not you wear it on your mask is going to be up to you. Whether or not you wear it on your mask during training is kind of vague at this point. It's probably going to be up to your instructor whether or not he requires it and his interpretation of standards. But let me know down in the comment section below, do you feel that training standards need to be more clear cut and not so vague? Um, and let me know whether you wear a snorkel or not. Do you like them? Do you not like them? It's kind of a 50-50 between all divers. Guys, I appreciate you watching this video. If you like it, hit that like button for me. As always, guys, check back each week for a new video. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.